Happy holidays, everybody, and welcome to Snobby Beer Reviews. I'm X Bang as always, and we've got a very, very hyped up beer. This is Great Lakes Christmas Ale, and they even have a Great Lakes Christmas Ale glass, which is awesome. Uh, but this is a Christmas beer or holiday beer that they brew with cinnamon, ginger, honey, and Yuletide cheer. Uh, like I said, it's very hyped, especially in Ohio. People go crazy over this beer. It sells out fast, and, you know, it's one of those beers that you just keep hearing a lot about. So is it worth the hype? Let's find out in this review. All right, so the appearance of the Great Lakes Christmas Ale. It's like a honey, yellow, orange, reddish color. It's got some really nice carbonation bubbles coming up. It doesn't look like it's champagne-like, but the bubbles just kind of slowly creep up, and it's very, very pretty. It's pretty clear. When it was first poured, there was like a uh, maybe one finger, almost pure white, but a little bit off-white head. All right, so the smell. Uh, you can definitely get the ginger in this. Uh, it doesn't smell like a ginger beer. I've had ginger beers, and it's just like, you know, tons of ginger. But that's not like this. Very subtle ginger. Uh, nice cinnamon notes. Uh, you can smell the honey in there, too. There's some really nice malty sweetness in this. And uh, you kind of get some other spices as well. I don't think they use any other spices, but just the combination of everything that's in there kind of like, kind of gives it this, like, you know, spicy holiday winter beer. All right, so the taste for the Great Lakes Christmas Ale. Right off the bat, you get that good amount of honey flavor. Um, it's followed by like some bready malt character, you know, almost biscuity. Cinnamon comes out, but it's very, very subtle. And the ginger comes out as well. And it's not as, as much as the nose, which wasn't that much to begin with, but <clears throat> ginger is definitely present, and it adds just this really nice little spicy edge right at the end. The beer leans a little bit more towards the sweet side than it does the bitter side, which isn't to say that this beer is sweet. Um, <clears throat> it's just that the flavors that are in there kind of give the impression of sweetness. There's some good malt character, uh, and it's backed up with you know, the honey and the ginger and the cinnamon. And uh, there's a lot of winter warmers and other holiday beers that are just all about the spice and or, or all about the sweetness. And this beer is neither. It's kind of a good combination between those two things. All right, the mouthfeel on this. Carbonation is pretty much perfect. I mean, it's just enough to kind of um, have this nice little lingering crispness. Uh, but, you know, it's not like fizzy or anything like that. Starts off with a good amount of body, um, and you think it's going to be, you know, kind of, uh, <clears throat> kind of sweeter, but then once you swallow it, it finishes dry, and it's not hard to drink at all. I mean, this is extremely easy to drink. All right, for the Great Lakes Christmas Ale, I got to go with a four out of five on this one. Uh, I've had this beer a lot, and I wasn't sure what I was going to rate it. I mean, I kind of had an idea, but it's actually higher than I thought I was going to rate it. I mean, right now, it's just drinking awesomely. Compared to a lot of other kind of holiday beers, you know, this one, it's it's not hitting you over the face with anything. I mean, it's not like it's flavorless by any means, but, you know, it's not super intense. It's very drinkable. Um, I think... I could be wrong. I mean, I don't know what, you know, their whole plans were when they brewed this beer. But I think what they were going for is a beer that has some nice, you know, holiday spice character. But is a beer that you could, you know, buy a six-pack and, you know, share a six-pack with a friend in one night. You know, it's it's just that kind of drinkability and just taste tasty beer altogether. That wraps it up for this review for the Great Lakes Christmas Ale. And by the way, if you ever stumble across one of these glasses, they're awesome. This is a great snifter. I drink a lot of different beers out of this. But uh, you guys know what to do. Grab a beer, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, 
is this really overly hyped, you know, compared to other Christmas beers or holiday beers? You know, let me know in the comments section, but uh, I'll see you guys next time. I'm going to enjoy this.